to Stamp the Love Studio with Cindy Fodor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little box, bag, whatever you want to call it, out of um, our new tag topper punch as well as our milk carton die. So let me start off. Um, our paper is 5 by 7, about 5 by 7. Um, I have the marks drawn on here with the, um, a pen just so that you can see where it's going to cut. The dashed lines are going to score so that it'll fold there for you. Um, I do want to tell you that these little diagonal lines here, don't worry about them. We're not using them for this box. However, um, they are important when you're making the milk carton because you need to be able to fold them there. Just remember that all the folds need to be done um, before you glue anything together. So let's get the big shot in here. Run that through. Now this um, little box that I'm going to show you has to be done with designer paper as opposed to cardstock because all the layers of the card of the, of the box will have to fit through and that wouldn't um, work in the punch if you used cardstock. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. We've got our uh, bottom tabs cut out. Um, we're going to fold on all the score lines except for those diagonal ones that I told you about. So you can go ahead and do that. Take your bone folder and burnish those good. And have this one about finished here. The little tab there gets uh, burnished and then it'll get glued down. Let's go ahead and we can go ahead and do that part before we cut. So I'm going to cut a piece of sticky strip here and stick on there. Then you have to rub it a little bit to make that red tape pop off easily. Okay, now what I want to do is where my folds, uh, where those little score lines are, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push in and they, they're going to help it to fold a little bit. But I'm not going to create any more creases down here. Oh, I forgot to tell you not to score, not to fold on the, on the top um, straight lines. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. I, I'm, I don't want to glue this bottom together till I'm done because I need that to give a little bit until I get it into the punch. All right, so now we're going to scoot this in the punch. Now, it's not the whole width of the punch, as you can see. So um, you want to make sure that it's even on either side. I'm just going to slide that in as far as it will go. And because I screwed up the last time, I'm going to flip it over on the back to make sure that I have it up far enough. There we go. Now we can see that it's up the whole way. And it's going to take a little more oomph to punch that out, but it does come out nicely. And now we've created the top of the box. And now you can go ahead and um, glue in your sides just add a piece of sticky strip here and tuck that down. And there you go. And this is the finished product with different paper, of course. So have fun. Pick out lots of paper. Try different things. Um, if you like my little tag, uh, my daughter Tosh designed this. She found it in our, our Stampin' newsletter, um, how to create a, a dipped effect. And we're going to do a video on that tomorrow. So check back tomorrow and see how to do that. Um, the Sending a Kiss comes out of our Petite Pair stamp set. I thought that was a cute idea because you can put kisses in there and make a little favor for a party. Thank you for joining us today. Come back tomorrow and see what's new.